Hi everybody. Um, so today, July 2nd, is DCC Awareness Day, Disorders of the Corpus Callosum. And I thought it would be fitting to talk about Ada. We found out that Ada had ACC while in utero. I mentioned in my previous video that we had a fetal MRI. When she was two weeks old, she had her own MRI. Um, I was terrified for her because if you haven't had an MRI before, they are extremely loud. Extremely loud. Um, but luckily because she was so new, she was only two weeks old, she slept the whole time. She was the contraption that they put her in. They basically put her in a burrito and then they put blocks around her head for her to stay straight and they wrapped her up in this big blue thing to make sure she stayed in one spot. I was not able to be with her during the MRI, not because of hospital policy, because I couldn't. As soon as we took her into the side room, which is the same room I went into for the fetal MRI, which was bringing back memories and I cried during my MRI. Um, as soon as we walked in there I started to cry. So luckily my husband went in for me because I wouldn't have been able to do that I don't think. I went out into the waiting room clearly upset. Not sobbing but pretty darn close. And um, there were these two lovely older women who could clearly see that I was upset. They had been sitting across from us before the appointment and they were saying how beautiful she was and all these really nice things. And then when I came out of the appointment, they were actually sitting right where I was sitting. So they're right next to me. They were hilarious. They were just trying to keep me busy, trying to make me laugh. Um, I really appreciate them. I have no idea who they are, but they really made a difficult time for me much easier to tolerate. I was able to, I was able to relax. My mind was off of it. I wasn't just sitting there twiddling my thumbs, waiting and waiting. Because an MRI could be like an hour. Um, so we met with her neurologist a few, probably the next week. And they also discovered that she has, and I can't remember the name of it. It's almost, there's almost a brain, like a fusion in her brain. Um, it's very, very subtle, her neurologist said, because you could easily miss it going through the scans. Um, so we're not quite sure if that's going to affect her in any way as she gets older. People who have that um, tend to have limited abilities, but it's a complete brain fusion, whereas Ada's isn't quite like that. After her neurologist and her MRI, we then went to see the ophthalmologist. And that was, so because of where the um, corpus callosum is, it is in the middle of the brain. So it tends to affect things down the middle of your body, down the midline of your body. Um, eyes, nose, mouth, a lot of babies tend to have cleft palates or cleft lips, um, heart, all kinds. So they went and they put drops in her eyes. Her pupils were so dilated. She looked, she looked high. And because she was so young, she was probably about a month old, it was really difficult for them to do the test. So from what they could see, her eyes were developing at the rate and where they should be for her age. Now we're supposed to go back. We we're scheduled to go back next month. However, with COVID, there's a waiting list because all their appointments have been pushed back. So I'm not sure when we're going to get back in to see the ophthalmologist, but it's going to be essentially the same thing. She's going to have drops. They're going to inspect her eyes and go from there. We also will be meeting with her neurologist next month at her one year appointment. Um, he wasn't, uh, he was, our neurologist is amazing at CHEO and he basically said, unless there are things that go wrong, if she has seizures, don't come back until she's a year. So hopefully they'll call us this month with uh, an appointment for next. She has been slow to reach some milestones on time for others as she's getting older and the milestones are 
larger or require more bodily strength. You can tell that there's a slight lag, not crazy. She's still considered within the normal range, just a little bit on the back burner kind of thing. Um, whenever we went to go see my family doctor for the first time, so she would have been uh, eight weeks, six weeks after we'd stopped seeing my midwife, uh, he was asking how she was doing, and I said, well, apart from her ACC, she's pretty good. And he looked at me, ACC? Like, he had, he had no idea what that was. So I then said, well, it's the parogenesis of the corpus callosum. He looked at me. Uh, he Googled it. He Googled it. Because he had no idea what it was, what pertained to it, nothing. He had not a clue. Um... And that just goes to show, like, it's not something, it's something you read in textbooks. And it's like the chapter that you don't really need to read. You can skim through it or you can, you can even just skip it. So it was kind of funny to me that he didn't know what it was. And he even said himself that he needs to read up on it because he's never seen it or heard of it before. Um, so we go back to see him again next month, hopefully, because of COVID. Who knows? And... Other than that, she's doing really great. One thing that I haven't told a lot of people about um, is, so they don't know why it happens. And I mean, what I'm about to say, it could absolutely be nothing. However, it is the only thing that happened that could have maybe in my brain caused it. Um, I am an early childhood educator but I had been working as an educational assistant at my school and I was working with this lovely, lovely boy, however he could get physical. And there was an incident around um, 10 weeks or 12 weeks. No, it would have been further. It was between the 12 to 16 week mark when I was pregnant and he kicked me in my stomach and uh, I I was so scared I had suffered a miscarriage previously and I was absolutely terrified I was hyperventilating I couldn't catch my breath after that day I went home because I, I, I was just so worried and luckily my principal was aware and she was very supportive and very understanding um, and I just went home and I just sat and I just relaxed. My midwife came over and she checked me and everything was fine. Um, but that's the only thing. And it's around that time frame that it, the corpus callosum grows. It could just be a coincidence. We'll never know. Um, but I haven't told a lot of people that. And it scares me. I, in no way, if hypothetically and crazy way that is what it is no way am I upset with this child he didn't know what he was doing it just was wrong timing wrong place wrong timing kind of thing um but besides that I mean with or without her corpus callosum Ada is a beautiful healthy little girl and she's only you know going up from here so I hope that this finds you well and if you are don't do what I did don't go back and uh, think of what could have happened how could this happen because it's only gonna make you go crazy eventually you'll accept it but it's just best to skip that step altogether so in conclusion again I will reiterate I will never say that your child will be perfect I am only speaking to those parents or, ch or whose children just have CACC, complete agenda of the corpus callosum, and it is isolated, meaning nothing else. If your child has an isolated, complete agenda of, of the corpus callosum, odds are he or she will be fine. And that, again... I will say it again and again and again. That is what I am doing here. I am spreading awareness. I am spreading the word because it is, as far as we know, it's rare. 
my, our geneticist had said there could be lots of people walking around without it and we just don't know because our age slightly younger or even older they didn't have those scans to detect it so you'd never know unless you did an autopsy um, so as far as we know it's rare it could be more common than we know but your child will be okay thanks for watching and please share this if you know someone or it. what will help is spreading the word spreading the word so much I was contacted by a university in the States doing a study and I'm very excited about this and they are trying to get awareness out there as well so if we can just work together and do it it will become normal and it's not so scary once you're in it.